prefer to ride with less electronics? I would um, because personally for me this I, I'm not big on I'm very I'm smooth with when I get on the gas a lot of people they have it set where they can just go back to wide open and uh, that's one thing about my weight I'm a bigger guy taller even I'm kind of skinny but compared to those guys are little and compared to the GP again they're even way smaller but I was I did this interview with Superbike Planet and I kind of I think I nailed it pretty good is the GP is very hard because you have so much grip and you have so much electronics that somebody like you know Lorenzo and Pedrosa they get a real big advantage where if they if they took the electronics off and there was a lot more spinning that lightweight wouldn't help them so much and somebody like me it could actually benefit because I can move my weight around quite a bit but uh, I would prefer less electronics. Obviously, everybody's trying to cut the cost down. Um, it makes racing more interesting. You get to see a lot more sliding, and and uh, the way I ride, I think I would benefit a little bit more, you know, from it. But it's, uh, you know, it's also 2009, so they're liking electronics, and and it's a, it's just a process, and it and it trickles down to the street. I mean, there's street bikes now that are starting to get, you know, the you can change different maps and make it softer and, it, and it's good for that too. So there's, you know, we're kind of working on a, all the development for that stuff, but I would personally rather see no traction control. Wheelie control is not, you know, too bad. That's pretty cool, but you know, it's, it'd be fun coming out of corners, smoking the tire and things like that. It'd make racing look better and make a guy that can't conserve a tire or that, you know, his bike conserves the tire for him better makes his, you know, a lot harder work. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd prefer no traction control for sure. Uh, last question. This is your last one. Yeah, this it? is my last one. I mean, I've got like, you know, a ton here. I've written them all <laughs> down just in case you showed up. Um, <laughs> if you were to win the World Superbike title this year, how would you celebrate? Uh. <laughs> wow. Be truthful. They would yeah. be like, yeah, you know, I treat myself to a Snickers and a Diet Coke, <laughs> and then I would, you know, woohoo, <laughs> Papa. Uh, that'd be, especially for this year, I mean, being the first year in World Superbike, having some of the bad luck we've had and being able to come back from it. If we win it this year, emotionally, it's going to be the biggest thing I've done. Uh, and that night, I probably won't be making too many plans for the next morning because it won't probably feel too good. But... You gotta enjoy it. You gotta, you know, I work a lot with my program, a lot with training and really dedicated with stuff, but you've also gotta get away from it. And when you celebrate, you gotta have fun. You know, you can't be too strict all the time or you'll, you'll burn yourself out. So I'm sure it'll entail um, many lots of drinks and, and uh, rough night. So Go we'll play on it. You're going to Portugal. So if, I'm, if I win the title, you'll be there, huh? Right. You'll have to <laughs> He's all no. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ben, a couple things on are you one finger on the brake, two finger on the brake and how much rear brake are you using? Uh, I used to be all four uh, quit doing that and uh, went to two sometimes depending on if it's a chicane that has a, the second part of it it's slowing down, I might use my middle finger one finger to, to brake I have a really bad habit about using the rear brake now um, but uh, again, a lot of that was because in the first part of the year, what I said about the electronics, how we had too much, we didn't, we weren't at that fine line and a lot of times it was pushing in the corner and I would, if, if you watch every left hand turn, you'd see as soon as I go for the brake and get the bike turned in, my foot's mashing on it and I never used to use a rear brake and I don't think it's a, yeah, it's not a great habit to have because that's almost like a panic, you know, you want to be able to go to it and, um, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really do a lot like when a lot of uh corners where you're wheeling out of like road america up the front straightaway or places like that a lot of people use used to use a rear brake to slow the wheelie down but my, i always had an argument that you're slowing the motor down you know if you actually can clutch it or you're just better with your hand it keeps it more smooth when you're sitting there laying on the brake it's it's slowing the actual slowing the motor down it's not what you want but um, yeah, two fingers now and sometimes one finger, but I don't really have good control with one finger. I squeeze too much or not enough and run off the track. So uh, I usually try to stick with two fingers, yeah. Yeah, Ben, how, um, on your motorcycle, when you say you go out and you're working on 
uh, your speed, getting up to speed with, with used tires, mm -hmm. how much is the setup different when you put brand new tires on, the grip and the, how much does that change your bike? It can change it pretty bad. It's, um, sometimes it's, it's uh, you'll have a bike working really good on the worn out tires. You throw a new tire on there and it's good. It maybe sometimes pushes the front a little bit too much uh, coming from the rear and especially when you put a qualifier on that really, yeah, yeah. It's, it, when you put a qualifier on the whole bike changes because it has a lot of tendencies it didn't have it magnifies or something that was not working good, it all of a sudden works good. So it's, um, you know, we, we always, I like to ride on used tires just because it's, uh, if you can go fast with 18, 19 laps, you know what you can do at the end of the race. And, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, but when you put new tires on, I mean, it, you can see a second. You can go around and say, oh man, I blew that corner, blew this corner, and then you look at the lap time and it's like, wow. And then it progressively just gets slower and slower. But you know, it's, uh, it's, not a, it's a good habit to, uh, to not, when I put on new tires, I try not to actually blow out a fast lap. I try to do what I would do in a race and, and uh, that's pretty much it. But I mean, for anybody riding on, you know, when you're racing, getting used to older tires and not going out and flogging the thing, but just getting used to that movement is pretty good. I mean, right. it definitely pays off. It was really cool watching you here race uh, World Superbike, and I noticed coming at, coming out of four, going down the back straightaway, and, and you were getting into five. I was noticing you were accelerating, and you'd bring the bike over on the side of the tire. Is that to just run that gear all the way out is. Uh, sometimes it's it's more uh, to. Yeah, I mean that that race was definitely. I was doing a lot of different things because is that that was the one Michelle was right behind me in when he would take a tenth out of me, I would put it back on him and I, would, I wanted to keep him in a gap where he was pushing and never could catch me. But uh, he was basically using his tires up. And, and uh, sometimes if you, in a long corner, if the gearing's low and you can keep it leaned over for a longer period of time, it's on the smaller part of the tire so it's gonna accelerate faster. And the same thing going into a corner, if you tip in and I can get it leaned over, it starts getting into the limiter, which is always a constant speed where it enters the corner at a constant speed. And a lot of times I'll say, oh, you're touching the limiter. We need to take a tooth off the rear. And I'm like, no, because that will send me in faster than I want to go. And uh, it's, it's kind of more of a, you know, like a, you know, just a, a cruise control. You can it never, you're always the same no matter what, even new tire, old tire, whatever. But uh, yeah, sometimes on straightaways, you can keep them leaned over for, instead of really going through the apex fast, you can, uh, keep it leaned over for a long period of time and, and get it to keep accelerating. So, especially on a 600, that's when it pays off. When you fell at Valencia off the front tire, <laughs> was, was, did you just get up in the back of him and not be able to pick up the throttle or what? We, I had actually had a lot of problems that race because we went out and, and I had an electronic issue with um, the, wasn't so much attraction control, it was more the way the, the mapping was. And, when I would, from 13.5 to 14.2, when it got to that RPM, it went from 95% throttle to 20%. So it was making like under 100 horsepower. And I was having a big problem passing people and Nori was starting to get away. And, and I was basically just overriding the front tire. I knew, we knew before the race something was wrong with the bike on grid. I told him it was my mistake for the crash, you know, that, that I was just pushing too hard. We had a big problem and, and got in there. and. What I was planning on doing is that little short shoot that has that hairpin right after that. I just got on the back of Max and I was going to get a good drive out, out break him into the next corner. And I just picked up the gas too soon and, and the front went and I tried to save it. But as soon as it hit the cases, it was done. So that was just one of those things. The whole, the first five, six laps, I was way over riding the front tire and it was, uh, you know, I made a mistake. I should have just chilled back and stayed in third, but you know. You have sometimes you have to go for it, and you know I went for it and, and made a mistake. So.